COP30 is about to start in Brazil, and this one comes 10 years after the Paris Agreement. That's a big deal, and let me explain why. So once upon a time, as in 2015, this international treaty called the Paris Agreement was struck. Today, 195 countries have signed on to it and set goals to reduce how much planet warming gases like carbon dioxide they release into the atmosphere, all with the aim of limiting global temperature rise to 2 degrees Celsius or 3.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Those national goals were based on a few things, like how much they emit now and what's fair based on their resources and technology. And anyway, those goals are called Nationally Determined Contributions, or NDCs. And every five years, countries have to update those goals. Countries are supposed to submit their third NDCs um, for COP30, and they're supposed to be more ambitious than the NDCs they submitted five years ago. The 2025 goals were due in February, but this is kind of an honor system peer pressure exercise without any legal consequence for failing. So many countries haven't submitted theirs yet, but lots will likely send them during COP30. The major exception to note this year is the US, which did submit new goals back when Joe Biden was president. But now the US is withdrawing from the Paris Agreement, so most countries are considering those goals to be null and void. You can actually check them out here and see how your country compares to other countries and how close they are to doing enough to meet the collective goal of keeping global warming well below two degrees Celsius.